In this video, we're going to uh, discuss how to play Four Corners Solitaire. Now, common in solitaire games is the deck, also called the stockpile, a tableau, the waste pile, and something called the foundation or foundations. The game of Four Corners has all of those, and it's sort of a geometric game. It's, uh, it's got some uh, geometric aesthetics. So in addition to being fun, let's just say it looks pretty. Well, the first thing you're going to do when you play this game is separate the aces from your deck. So the deck you're going to shuffle has 48 cards instead of 52. And you're going to place one ace on each corner of your playing area. And you want to make sure you have some space. There's just enough space on the table I'm using here. And now, shuffle real quick. And the way that this game works is I'm about to deal the tableau. I'm going to put one card on each corner of each ace. One, two, three, four, and again. And one, two, three, four. All right. Now you need to decide where you want to have your waste pile. For uh, the sake of this demonstration, let's put the waste pile right here. So just know that this card is the waste pile. And it'll be turned over there. And we'll put the stockpile here. OK, the very first thing that you're going to do when you start actual play of the game of four corners is you're going to see if you have any twos which can be moved onto the ace of the same suit. Let's see, any twos? Well, there's the two of hearts. And you can move that onto the ace of hearts. And here's the two of diamonds. Put it onto the Ace of Diamonds. Look around. Any other plays you can make? There's the Three of Diamonds. It goes over here on the Two of Diamonds. I think you see how this game works. And if it's played with the most relaxed rules, it's easy. It's, it can be won more than 50% of the time. There's the Four of Diamonds onto the Three of Diamonds. Look at that, Five of Diamonds onto the Four of Diamonds. Do we have any more plays? I don't see any. Doesn't mean we don't have them. Now what we do is we take the top card from the waste pile, put it here, and we fill in this gap here, this gap, this gap, and this gap. You want to fill in all the holes that were just made by moving cards from the tableau onto your foundations. Okay, now before we put any cards into the waste pile, let's see if we have a play. We've got the five of diamonds here, so do we have the six of diamonds anywhere on the board now? Well, no. Two of hearts, do we see the three of hearts? No three of hearts. And we're also looking for the two of clubs or the two of spades. Those were not revealed, so all of the corners in our four corners game are covered on the tableau. So the waste pile comes into play. You take one card from your stockpile, turn it over. Look at that, six of diamonds. It can jump right here to the foundation. So it goes on top of the diamonds because five of diamonds was on the top of the diamonds foundation pile. And now look around your tableau. Make sure the seven of diamonds is not available. Turn over another card onto the waste pile. Queen of hearts. I can't play it. And so on. Three of spades. Ten of clubs. Ten of spades. Six of clubs. Now we're turning. We, we have a nice run of cards that had to go into the waste pile. So you can see where, uh, where there are instances where you can't make a play, maybe for several turns. The seven of diamonds just came up, put that over on the six of diamonds on that foundation pile, 
and so on. The way that the idea of this game is that you want to have a situation where, let's just say hypothetically, we've got all these cards going into the piles in the right sequences. The idea is if you win this game, your board will look something like this, only I just cheated big time. But what you're going to do is you're going to do it in sequence. Now, um, there are rule variations so that you can make this game harder because if you play it where you turn one card over from the stockpile onto the waste pile and you allow yourself to go through the stockpile unlimited times, you're almost certainly going to win the game every time. I mean, mathematically, if you do that and you make all the right choices, you will win every time. So I would suggest turning over one and going through three times, or turning over three, going through unlimited times until you can't make any more plays, or turning three over at a time and giving yourself three passes through the stockpile. If you do that, those options will give you more challenge to the game of four corners and make it something interesting rather than something that you know you'll win every time, which might be fun at first, but not so challenging.